constantly reminding myself to just breathe. Relax. Because the anxiety isn't going to help either. So I'm alive. Sometimes sickness just bounces around. And you feel like you've been sick for months. Because you can't remember the times that you were feeling okay. (laughs) Donovan was tested for the flu and tested negative. And the doctor still said that it could still be flu. (laughs) Or one of the... He said, or one of the thousands of kitty viruses that just mystery kitty viruses. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I know as much as anyone else. And even the people who know stuff are still trying to learn more stuff. They don't know everything. See, my son is coughing. It's very appropriate that I'm talking about this. I I tend to, to seem like a calm person. And I'm usually calm. But... Like, I genuinely have a fear of this type of thing. Um, Horror movies don't get me. Because they're usually about something that just would not happen. (laughs) But the ones that are based around true things, those are the ones that I'm a little more tentative to watch because they're real. They're too real. It's too real. Like, I already know. Um, It's not me necessarily avoiding it. I know. It's just why do I have to? I'm not entertaining myself with that. So I don't want to see it. So, for example, when the movie Outbreak came out, um, I never watched Outbreak in its entirety. I refused to when I was younger because it... And I mean younger in my 20s even. um, It was just too real for me. So this genuinely actually scares me but I'm a practical practical human being so I research and I pay attention to what's happening and I feel like it's gonna be okay it's gonna be pretty drastic but at the same time it's just you know do what you gotta do and get through it because this is literally out of your control when it comes to everything outside of you so just try to relax try to pass on the message to just prepare as much as you can and be cool and that's I mean it sounds so simplistic because I feel like when things are this this seem this all over the place I get this simplistic it's, it sounds naively hopeful, and it's something that I go to over and over again, and sometimes it disappoints me. Sometimes being naively hopeful just gets you very disappointed, but sometimes it gets you through things, because you're like, it's going to be fine, because it, it's going to be fine, and if that helps anybody then I'm glad. And if it just makes other people say, she's stupid. Again, maybe I distracted you. (laughs) Then I distracted you with my stupidity. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care being called stupid. I do care if I'm helping anybody. Because I I like to be helpful. In this intimacy thing that I normally... So we don't buy this. My husband decided to buy a box. So it's like, sure. I'm having it. I don't know if that did anything ASMR-like. I don't think I have the volume turned up that much on this microphone. I probably could, but... Unless somebody found my voice particularly soothing. This is not an ASMR channel. This is also not my most soothing voice. I used to do um, fake operator voices all the time. Especially when people would call 
into a retail business I used to work at because <laughs> sometimes we, I would say the spiel that we had to say and because I'd say it I may have said this in a previous video and now I'm wondering if I'm repeating myself or I'm just having deja vu but I'd say the spiel in my operator voice and sometimes people would at the very end wait and be like oh I thought this was an answering machine <laughs> Hello and thank you for calling, blah, 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 blah. I don't remember the spiel right now. Actually, I do. I used to work at The Wiz. If you don't know what The Wiz is, you are either way too young to know they existed, or you lived under a rock. <laughs> Depends on how old you are. Because it closed when I was in my 20s, and I'm 40 now, so if you're... If you're 20 years old or younger, then why would you know what it is? Um, that doesn't sound like his normal singing. I've been talking for a lot longer than I expected to talk. I just wanted to say if anyone else is scared out there, it's okay to be scared. Just don't panic. Just, you know, try to, if you have a practical side, try to get that practical side in there because it'll help you. Being practical has helped me through so many emotional things because it's forced me to break down and be like, okay, wait, what do I have to do? And not everyone can do that. It's compartmentalizing. It's, I think I'm trying to distract myself. So I'm hoping I'm distracting someone else again. Um, you know, it, everything sounds so scary right now. Pandemic and coronavirus and, uh, COVID-19 and, they sound scary, but they're just names for there's a disease that's in a lot of places. It's a disease and we have to name it something to classify it specifically from the other coronaviruses that have been out there. So everyone relax and just pay attention to what's going on around you. Keep yourself informed by reliable sources. When people are freaking out in front of you, Try to recognize why they're freaking out and don't feed into it and try not to let it, you know, it, that's contagious too. I'm trying to sound as calm and relaxed as possible. Um, this voice, this, this roughness that I have with my voice, I, that is part of how I'm sick right now. Um, at a certain temper, my voice is doing this, this thing. I can't seem to stop it. <clears throat> and I get this, uh, I get a lot of buildup. It's just all sorts of fun stuff. Um, and everyone out there, take care of yourselves. I'll make another video at some point that's more fun. I keep saying I'm going to make a parody video, but it's I just don't feel lighthearted enough to do that right now. I feel sick. I feel like I'm not fully 100% myself. And I just want to feel myself right now. Once I do... I haven't even been writing as much the past like week because I've just been feeling like garbage. This is, and I still look pale and stuff, but this is the best I've looked in a while because, and this is the most I've actually attempted to to wear a thing and not just be a huge t-shirt and sweatpants and a sweatshirt on top of that and then a hoodie on top of that because I was having fevers all the time. <laughs> And then maybe a scarf inside the house. And with that, I'm going to go. Take care of yourselves. And try not to panic. Try not to get your let your anxiety get the best of you. Because it is very easy to get anxious. And um, I've been constantly reminding myself to just breathe. relax because the anxiety isn't going to help either this is an exercise in mindfulness because that's hard to do too to snap yourself out of that anxiety I have to do it many times a day I did literally did it just now that wasn't like 
for a play. That was also me noticing this happening. It's probably because I'm talking and amping myself. Nobody needs 15 minutes of my rambling. Then again, maybe you do want to get distracted. Maybe I should. Was I offensive? Who knows? Maybe 10 years from now, everything I have said will be offensive. Maybe just saying everybody good health. That's what I'm wishing everybody right now. I'm just saying good health, good health, good health. Maybe that'll be offensive one day right now. I think it's appropriate. Good health. Thank you.